This is the Buzzsaw bringing you Dejerix Update 5. Uh, I've been working on the engine a little bit recently and wanted to show off some of the new features. Uh, first thing you will not notice is that I now load these cards dynamically. So I'm actually reading them from a file and the file specifies, you know, what card front to load, what card back to load, and what quantity to load that card in. So I'm actually loading these dynamically instead of hard coding them like I was before. So anyway, moving on to stuff you can see. First thing you may notice is I added rounded corners. So the cards actually look like real playing cards now. The geometry actually creates these rounded corners and trims off the corner for you. So you don't have to have like the images, you know, shaped right or anything or, or, or specified a certain way. The geometry just cuts them off. And these are procedurally generated. So you can specify certain parameters like the radius, like how far into the card to begin the, the, the curve. You can specify how many polygons constitute the curve. So you can have more or less detail, but obviously you don't want to have too much because it's just wasteful. Uh, I think right now I have it set to four. So zoomed in, you can see these four corners, but zoomed out, you can't really tell. You know, when you're playing the game, it looks just fine. They look like nice rounded real playing cards. So that was a nice touch. Um, I also added momentum based zoom so that when you're playing a game and you need to, for example, zoom way out, look at the table, you can just roll your wheel back and zoom out really fast and then get back in just as quickly. Um, this is helpful, but the problem right now is that it feels a little bit too slippery. So like, you know, getting out's pretty easy, but when you come back in, you're not sure how much to do it and you slam into the table like this. So I need to come up with a slightly more intuitive interface for that. But still it's better than what it was before because before you'd go out at a static rate so it'd take forever to zoom out and look at the table and then when you want to come back in it would take forever to crawl back in so at least now you can you know slide out and slide back in anyway let me know what you think in the comments below thanks